Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sen, and if you are new here, I am a designer. I do mostly wedding gowns. I do sewing tutorials here. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. I made this prom dress two years ago sa isa kong client. And now it's back for some alteration dahil her younger cousin susuotin niya to for her prom night. So in this video, ko convert natin this from zipper to lace-up style. Gagawa tayo ng mga loops from bias strips. Then we'll do some hand sewing, pressing, and marami pang iba. And also, gagawa din ako ng covering for the back para hindi makita yung skin. And of course, yung straps na gagamitin natin para sa lace-up. So, yung una kong gagawin is to cut strips of fabric. So, 1 inch ang width. Siguro mga 2 to 3 strips of fabric. Pwede nyo siyang i-cut and bias. Pero yung ginamit ko dito is fabric na galing sa circular skirt. So, meron na siyang stretch. I have a detailed tutorial of this on how to make shoelace straps or the spaghetti straps. The link is in the description below. Next is to turn the straps inside out. Use loop turner or yung ginagawa ko na gumagamit ng lumang sewing needles. After turning it inside out, kakata na natin siya by 2 inches long. Next kong gagawin is to seam rip the zipper. So ayan, yung zipper na yan was hand stitch. So tatanggalin ko ulit yung tahe. Then hindi ko totally tatanggalin yung zipper. I'll be keeping the zipper. We'll be using the zipper tape para dun sa loops. So dyan natin nalalagay yung mga loops. Next step is to mark the placement ng loops. So yung ginawa ko dito is half inch yung gap and then half inch yung layo ng both ends ng loops. Before sewing, papalitan ko muna yung presser foot to jacket zipper because I find it easier for me to sew down the loops dun sa edge ng zipper tape. I also use pointed tweezer para mas ma ilagay ko ng maayos yung loops dun sa zipper tape. It's kind of struggle to move around the loops if you have big fingers. <laughs> this tweezer is really my or should I say makes my life easier. <laughs> After sewing all the loops down, next thing I'll be doing is to make a covering for the back. So, para hindi makita yung skin ni client.
So ayan, it's easier for me to adjust the covering kapag dinahilang natin yung upper half. After this, ang next natin gagawin is strap. Nagkat ako ng one and a half yard na length ng strip of fabric. Fold in the raw edges, then fold it in half, and then press. Next is to top stitch that open edge. After sewing, press, press, press. is to fold the end of the strap twice by half inch and top stitch it down. And finally we can now do the lacing. I'm going to put this strap through those loops. <laughs> 